Hi everybody again. Uh, yes, it's been really long. Uh, we, we, uh, I made another video, but uh, this time this was this is something really important that I want you to focus on. This part is actually to focus on getting your flat drawings uh, in proportion. So what it means is that uh, if you have uh, first of all, uh, this is a block which is going to help you to create proportionately all your flat drawings if you see here uh, i'm just going to zoom in and show you a few guidelines uh, number one this is not any nine head figure or an illustration uh, 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 sloper or a illustration uh, this thing reference it is actually for your flat drawing purpose so if you see here uh, it all mentions all the levels in the body part where all you need to have your uh, uh, style lines to be created. So for example, if you need a v-neck, then this is your v-neck uh, uh, proportion going on. For a round neck, you can, refer, uh, you can refer on this curve, funnel neck, polo neck, straight armhole, which could be like, a, you know, you can use it as an armhole or when you make a sleeveless, even then you can do that for a halter neck. So all these references are there and I'm going to share, put this uh, image on sharing with you. So you can maybe download it or I will share it through WhatsApp or uh, uh, it's going to be available to you somehow. So you'll see going further sleeveless, it is saying cap sleeve, it is saying short sleeve, elbow length, all that. And, uh, even on the waist levels, there are high waist, on waist, hip waist, hipster, and the hem part for bottoms, uh, micro mini, mini, above the knee, all that, mid calf, ankle length, floor length. All right. So uh, what this reference actually means is that uh, you know uh, if you are creating an ensemble, so if you have a top and a bottom or something, you you should draw them all in one proportion so that it fits one kind of body. So what I'm going to show you now is something that falls uh, uh, perfectly on this on this body itself so um, i've created another layer of a shirt which is something like this now just see when i um, click on what happens is this shirt that is created it is actually on the same proportion as the body so here it comes so if you see this i'm just going to make it a little transparent so you can see through and kind of understand uh, sorry selected it so I'll select it and let's say 80% or I'm going to keep it 70% so you can see them all through so if you see I have referred to the neckline which is closely at the collar so you if there's always a little ease on the collar point and the, the, the curve of the collar is actually on the point to the neck. Then the shoulder and then maybe a little cap sleeve or something can be referred, you know. Then again, a shirt, a woven shirt will not be actually totally fitting to the body. So this is the body line while the shirt will have a little bit of ease. So that is why the shirt is created a little away from the body. So that's how this shirt is created. I hope this is clear to you and then when I bring shorts over it now shorts let's say this one is a very fitted one and this is actually to the body exactly to the body it's quite a fitted pair of shorts so now if we place them even separately for example I'll bring the opacity to 100 and I'll keep them as as a set so this is what i mean by proportions you know this shirt and this bottom this this shorts is actually for one size so it could be one proportion one size it could be if it is size 8 of the shirt this is size 8 of uh, the shorts it should not be that you're creating shorts which is that huge in one page and then you're creating this shirt which is tiny here that is point number one that needs to be uh, covered now the other thing that needs to be covered is there are a few things that 
you j overall I've seen students making lots of mistakes and the major mistake part is uh, there are a few pointers that you generally tend to miss it out and then uh, later when your portfolio is rejected and when you when you when you face problems it is actually these points one is that you 90% of the time I've seen students forgetting to draw the armhole okay so you tend to lose out on the armhole and the second which is okay let me just clarify this is your armhole now I'm going to mark it a red thing, give it an arrow, all right, so the armhole. And the second thing that you tend to miss out a lot of times, which you should not, which is like a big mistake, is your center front. So don't miss out on your center front on the bottoms. It is really important. People tend to just draw, the, omit this line and just make this little box. Number three, this is your fly and not, not this. The fly is not equal to the crotch. The crotch, the, the fly is shorter. It is about let's say six, seven inches maybe from 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 the waistline, and the crotch is like till down below. So do not make such mistakes because that is going to create trouble for you. Number three, people, you need to pay attention on the stitch lines. You know when you refer to your garment, your sample, your proto your design that you're working on you should be able to interpret and actually uh, uh, enter all the details all the construction details that is required because only then uh, your sample will come out correct so if it's a double double needle top stitch on on the edge on maybe one fourth of an inch you have to mention it like that you have to keep it exactly like that so that it is easy for uh, your your uh, your master your your master facility your sampling facility to be able to create that kind of a thing that kind of a sample so if it is eight stitches make it clearly eight stitches if it is one fourth away make it clearly one fourth away so keep all those proportions correct only then you will be you know create you'll be able to create such good quality flat drawings so that was about it I hope this is clear and if you have any doubts please leave your uh, your comments your feedback and any other question that you have you can always leave it on my youtube channel just just like the channel and keep following it because i'll be adding more videos thank you